hello welcome back to my channel if you knew you're welcome and i hope you stay today i'm bringing to you one of my favorite bread recipes and what am i talking about i'm talking about the lebanese bread the turkish bread the egyptian bread moroccan bread we generally call it the arabic bread without wasting time let's just get started i'll get a bowl and come in with about 300 grams of all-purpose flour 20 grams of dried yeast teaspoonful of sugar a pinch of salt to taste i'll grate in some nutmeg i'll go ahead and mix up the dry ingredients I'll come in with about 50 grams of butter, 50 ml of lukewarm milk. I'll go ahead and mix it up. I'll mix it till it forms a dough. If you realize it's too dry, just come in with a little bit more of lukewarm water. I'll knead this for about five minutes. After kneading and making it into a perfect bowl, I will just wrap some olive oil on top of it. I will come in with a plastic wrap. A clean kitchen napkin. Then I will set this aside for about one hour. So it's been after about one hour and as you can see it has risen. Then I will divide it into four equal parts. I will go ahead and knead it a little bit more. I will come in with my rolling pin and shape it up into a perfect circle. Now it shouldn't be too thin or too thick. It should be about half a centimeter thick. So after shipping everything up, this is what we have here. I will just let this rest for about 10 minutes. While this is resting, I will put my pan on fire. It should be a very thick pan. If it's too thin, it's going to burn. We'll be doing this on medium flame. When the pan is hot enough, I will drop in my dough. 
how cook each side for about one minute if you realize you know it's forming some bubbles it's time to turn it over the dough must rise to form a ball so that at the end of the day you can open the bread and put in whatever you want to put inside this depends on the amount of heat you're using if the heat is too low you are not going to get that ball after it's cooked i'll go ahead and put it i'll just wrap it up in a very clean kitchen napkin this will help trap in the moisture and make it softer so after cooking everything this is what we have here i cannot wait to taste them then i'll bless it with some virgin olive oil i'll go ahead and sprinkle on some spring onions look at how soft this bread is And you can even open it up and put in some vegetables or meat. As you can see, this was so easy to make. It was fast and you don't need any special ingredients. You can keep this bread in the refrigerator and whenever you need one, you can just get one out heat it up in the microwave and it feels and tastes like the fresh one so you can make so many of them and just keep them in the fridge i hope i did help you and i hope you are going to give this a try if you do let me know how it comes out for you if you've not subscribed please don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up until next time i am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one Bye-bye.